Our 10 News School of the Week, powered by Duke Energy Florida, is Layla G. Davis Elementary in Clearwater. We sent a crew out to the school mm -hmm. yesterday. They were able to catch these students in action in the classroom. And while we were out there, the crew was able to grab a few weather questions, and here's one of them. Good morning. My name is Sophia Call, and I'm a fourth grade scholar at Layla Davis Elementary. My weather question is, why are we on a weather roller coaster? One week it's hot and the next is freezing, and it seems to be snowing further south. So I think the best way to answer this question is if I actually get in the weather lab. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Much better here. Let's, let's bring in the jet stream, guys. So we've got the jet stream coming in. The jet stream is where really it all begins. That's been controlling a lot of our temperatures this winter. The jet stream is a current of fast moving winds. Wind speeds in the, the jet stream can be above 100 miles per hour. And this, if you think about it, this river of fast moving winds is roughly four to eight miles above the Earth's surface. So speaking of the Earth, let's, let's bring in the Earth now. So our Earth, the jet stream is like a rope, if you think about it, that goes all the way around the Earth. And it separates the warmer temperatures to the south and the colder temperatures to the north. Now this winter, We've had a lot of big peaks and a lot of valleys in that jet stream or ridges of high pressure and strong areas of low pressure. So when one of these troughs of low pressure or one of those dips in the jet stream moves over us, we've had the big drop in temperatures like we've seen here recently. And then once that trough of low pressure moves to the east, it's replaced by a ridge or a big warm up. So that's why we've had big temperature swings between colder temperatures and warmer temperatures and all of it is because of the jet stream. 